Ahead of this week's inauguration, authorities are beefing up security in D.C. after the recent riots at the Capitol. Today, local Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs held a virtual meeting, hearing from some who were impacted by the violence. Fox High's Liberty Zavala has that story. Thank you, Naomi. A virtual conversation focused on healing after the U.S. Capitol attack led to many tears. And in this, it hurt me greater than probably any other thing really could when it came to our institutions. And I struggle with trying to explain it. My sisters called me. They are 10. They are almost 10, 8, and 5. I said, I don't know, Lydia, Alicia, Nadia, how to say this to you. I don't know how to say you're safe in a world where they just watch this on TV. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs held this Zoom meeting with Dr. Sessan Nagash of San Diego State University to provide a safe and open space for the public to share their reflections after the attack. The people that stormed the Capitol, they're Americans and they believe, they believe that what they were doing was patriotic and it was the right thing and it was the American thing to do. And, that they weren't traitors. I, I don't know how you can unite a country when half the country believes one thing so fervently and the other half believes the opposite so fervently. This comes as capitals across the country were alerted to the possibility of more protests. The National Guard is in Sacramento to ensure no violence erupts. Locally, Trump supporters in Mira Mesa protested the election results. And with the inauguration just around the corner, many said they worry about their safety and the future. It's the future now that bothers me. It's almost a situation where uh, those who hate hold the cards. They hold the cards to making something like this happen again. Liberty Zavala, Fox 5 News.